This is the common question in everyone's mind that what will happen to our son when its fuel ends. In this episode, we are going to see the subsequent stages of star's life. When hydrogen fuel comes to an end, the nuclear fusion reaction stops in the core. Because of higher temperature, it continues to emit energy into the space. As fuel has been exhausted already and emission of heat and light continued, temperature of star begin decreasing. As nuclear fusion has stopped, pressure of gases inside core begins reducing. Gravitational force dominates this opposing force and star begin contracting. Its pressure and temperature starts increasing. If this temperature goes beyond the temperature requirement of helium fusion reaction, that is 10 crore degree Celsius, the core begin nuclear fusion again, in which helium is transformed into carbon and oxygen by giving out energy, which is even more than hydrogen fusion. This effect to further expansion of star, star becomes so huge as compared to its previous size. As in expanded condition, it becomes stable till helium fuel ends. Again, it begins contracting. When helium fuel ends, the new cycle begins in which carbon fuses into neon and magnesium. Again, star expands. Its surface temperature becomes low and as low temperature sources emit light with higher wavelengths, it looks as red and huge, so named as red supergiant. In fact, each star doesn't become red supergiant. End of one nuclear fuel and contraction of star increase in pressure and temperature, then nuclear fusion of element with higher atomic number, star getting stable, such four cycles can happen in the star. After the end of helium, at certain conditions, carbon and oxygen goes under nuclear fusion reaction to give neon, silicon, magnesium, sulfur and sodium. In later nuclear fusion reactions, these elements transform into iron, copper, nickel and chromium. These cycles couldn't be continued beyond iron. Future of any star after hydrogen fuel ends, it solely depends on its mass. If the mass of star is less than 0.08 times the mass of sun, then it remains brown dwarf. If mass of star is between 0.08 and 8 times the mass of sun, then it becomes white dwarf. If mass of star is in between 8 and 25 times the mass of sun, then it becomes neutron star. And if mass of star is about 25 times the mass of sun, it becomes black hole. Brown dwarfs The minimum mass of the celestial gaseous object should be 0.08 times the mass of sun or 93 times the mass of Jupiter planet to call it as a star. Nuclear fusion couldn't be start in the core of these objects because of temperature of the core of these objects reach up to 20 lakh degrees Celsius only. Minimum temperature requirement for hydrogen nuclear fusion is 1.5 crore degree Celsius. But these objects are so hot because they contracted at the time of birth due to gravity. They emit their energy in the form of heat. If we see them, they look brown. That's why they named as brown dots. They are not planet as well as stars. Planets are the objects having mass less than 0.01 times the mass of sun. White dwarfs Our sun falls into this category, means sun will become white dwarf at the end. The stars having mass 0.08 to 8 times the mass of sun goes through less than 3 nuclear fusion reaction cycles. The low mass stars into this category goes through only one cycle that is nuclear fusion of hydrogen. The reason behind this is even after contraction, temperature couldn't reach required for nuclear fusion of helium. The star having higher mass than previous category goes through two nuclear fusion cycles, in which they produce carbon and oxygen by fusing helium together. The stars having mass about eight times the mass of sun goes through three cycles. After end of hydrogen and helium, they fuse carbon and oxygen to transform into neon, silicon, magnesium, sulfur and sodium. The size of star increases after every nuclear reaction end because of after contraction new nuclear cycle begin and in effect of this the outer layer of stars pushed outwards. The size of star increases after every nuclear reaction end because after contraction of nuclear cycles begin and in the effect of this the outer layer of star pushed outward. After all these nuclear reaction cycles, these star begin contracting because of gravity dominates pressure of gas. Now no nuclear reaction begin and star undergo huge explosion. In this explosion, outer layer of stars are thrown out of the atmosphere of star.
star in this condition called as planetary nebula. From far distance, star doesn't look like a spark but like a planet hence named as planetary nebula. The inner region undergoes contraction in the course of time and finally form a white dwarf. Helix planetary nebula is situated at 700 light years away from us. The inner part remaining after explosion is still having high temperature. All the atoms are in ionized state means electrons are separated from orbits to form positively and negatively charged ions. With the contraction of star, the electrons come so closer means electron density becomes huge. Quantum physics become applicable at this stage. This matter of star is called as degenerate gas. The pressure of this gas is not dependent on temperature like other gases. The pressure remains same in even changing temperature conditions. But the pressure goes increasing with density. At one stage, this pressure becomes so high and balanced by gravity of star. At this stage, star becomes stable. The stability of this star remains for infinite span even if state of the star changes with the course of time. By the time, temperature of star reduces but pressure remains constant. At the time of formation of this star, its temperature is so high that's why it looks white hence named white dwarf. If mass of white dwarf is equal to the mass of sun, then its size may be equivalent to earth. One spoon of material of the white dwarf weigh few tons. One spoon of white dwarf material may balance a big Asian elephant. White dwarfs emit energy in the form of heat and light continuously. It leads to decrease its temperature. By the time, rate of emission of energy goes on decreasing. After a few crore years, its temperature becomes absolute zero, means minus 273 degrees Celsius or zero Kelvin. No more energy can be emitted by the star. It becomes black and hence named as black dwarf, not black hole. The size, mass and chemical composition remains constant. This is what the final stage of star like sun. It has been observed that mass of white dwarf is always less than 1.44 times the mass of sun. Even if the mass of star before reforming into white dwarf is up to 8 times the mass of sun. But why do white dwarfs weigh less than 1.44 times the mass of sun? Answer of this question has been found by astronomer Chandrasekhar Subramanyam. He used quantum physics and special relativity theory to prove that regenerative pressure couldn't cross a limit. That's why this force can balance special categorized star whose mass is less than 1.44 times the mass of sun. This limit is called as Chandrasekhar limit. After 500 crore years, sun will also go through such changes. The diameter of sun may become 200 times larger than its diameter right now. Sun will swallow Mercury and Venus and may be Earth too. Then after, it will become white dwarf having size equivalent to Earth and mass approximately equal to its mass right now. Of course, its density will be huge and it will become black dwarf after more few crore years and will remain black forever. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.